Hello, hi, and welcome to this week's power message. If this is your first time here, hi, hello, and welcome. I am Jaya, I am Claire Audient, and I do receive various styles of channeled messages. As these different messages come about, I will be relaying them to you guys. Now, this is a timeless message. That means that it's meant for whenever you find this, and it's for your week ahead, okay? So, this is a collective message, so it's more of a collection of all of our vibration. And so all that I ask is that you kindly take what resonates and compassionately leave what doesn't for the person who needs to hear it the most, okay? So, what we do here is we start off with a one channeled message and then we go through three different decks to keep us motivated, inspired, and to get a lesson for the week yeah so let's go ahead and get into flow and see where we go yes i am seeing a man and he has a cowboy hat on and he's leaning over a fence like a gate and he is getting this girl that is, it's like a little girl that's in a, um, one of those, you know, where they have the bull and the, and then they have the flag and all that, those rodeos or something. And, um, she's in there. There's no one else in there but her. He sees a bull that's about to come after her. But she doesn't notice it. So he reaches his arm out and she's looking at his arm like, oh, let me see the arm. And then he grabs her and he doesn't even make her see how scary it was. This is fascinating because like the way he's grabbing her is like this. It's like putting his arm out there and then like she's like, oh, let me see. <laughs> and like she has no idea that there's this pull behind her. But he pulls her in. And when he pulls her in, there's so much of a loving embrace that happens. And, um, and he doesn't look scared to her. Doesn't give her any notion that things are going a little scary. Mm -mm. His face is completely composed the entire time. It's very beautiful and remarkable it speaks of the of this um character under pressure the composure of character under pressure and not just for self but as a selfless act for another this is really kind energy this is kind many of you guys are going through this period where you are you have finally tuned whatever it is that you have been conquering for i want to say for years some of you it's for years others of you it's been like off and on for years and then there's others of you that it's like um you're the child and you're in the rodeo <laughs> and you have no idea that all of this is happening and you're like oh okay i'll go into the arms and going into the arms you gain a sense of like you're somebody may be reaching out to help you in some capacity and when they reach out to help you you you're distracted by the attraction to the helping hand rather than your your actual surroundings and seeing how dangerous this could actually be or seeing how scary things can actually get um so this danger or, or fear element it doesn't necessarily have to be something that it actually is a dangerous thing to do but it's more of like your um it could be a fear within yourself that because this person lends out a, like a helping hand, you are able to bypass the fear and just go for it, or you're able to bypass the fear 
<clears throat> and feel, I want to say, excited and enthralled. This is interesting. And I wanted to say precious, but then when I say precious, I feel like, no, you got to say pressure. This is pressure. <laughs> so this may be somebody that's like some sort of mentor or they may be somebody that's stepping into your life that's going to be a mentor or you. It's like this, this exchange of energy in that capacity. <sighs> this could also be somebody who is, they, they may not know everything, like they're gonna teach you everything, but they're definitely giving you the extra help that you need to be able to put creative components together because the girl is looking at his, at his arm the whole time. Like if she's really interested in what's on his arm and all he has is like a sleeve but his sleeve is kind of rolled up a little bit and having it rolled up to like here and it's like blue and white and it's a collared shirt it's a long sleeve shirt and um he but he has a cowboy hat on mm -hmm. it's really precious energy because it's like this innocence that's with it and um appreciation for somebody who's who, who didn't have to put their arm out. They didn't have to like, in a sense, go out on a limb for you, but you, you, they did it anyways and you're appreciating it. Or this may even be that you're the one that's doing that for somebody else because you see their, you see their, uh, their potential or because you see, you see that like there's this danger that may be around them. So you do this because you know something might happen. Um, another thing is because you also might see that this person's fear holds them back so you do something to sort of elevate them and they get that fear pressure off of them it's like off of them like that mm -hmm. life can lose its vibrant aura and charm if we do not bend the energy of our minds towards positive engagement and appreciation I told you guys this is like this appreciation that somebody is stepping in to help you um, realign. I want to say like refocus or readjust. This is not like speaking like, oh, you've gone way out of your comfort zone and you, you were going by yourself. No, I think you've always seen this person on the sidelines the whole time. But like they see that this fear, like this, like the bull is representing fear. Like they see that this fear may be coming back. So this person is um, making you enjoy what you're doing again. So like, let's say it's like, like, you know, someone playing music, right? Like someone playing a guitar or something. And then like they're doing really good. They want to like go and go on stage and everything maybe they used to and now and then they put it down and now they're going to get it back on or maybe they're doing it for the first time in public or something you know and then this person's excited but then this person might second guess themselves this is like somebody going in there and bringing that extra i want to say pressure i still want to say pressure they're bringing in a pressure but the pressure that they're bringing is more of a creative it's a creative way. It makes the person excited and ignited to really go and do their best job. It's like that. It's really beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's comforting. Yeah. A lot of you guys have stable people in your life and you're appreciating the fact that they didn't have to go out of their way for you and they did. So it's really beautiful. I did it again. <laughs> I got the le the lesson one on and not the inspiration one. So we're just going to have inspiration at the end. The lesson card came out. I told you, you're going to be appreciating somebody. This is the lonely card in reverse. Loneliness. And it says, I know that I am never alone. Mm -hmm. You may be collaborating with people at this time. And while you're collaborating with people, it's like you're feeling... I want to say you're feeling network. You're feeling network. You're feeling network. Mm -hmm. Some people watching, you may be in like the entertainment industry. And it's like you're, you're really, I want to say you're really proud of yourself. And then others of you 
this is um this is more of a it's more of like a like a supportive group could even be with work you know i'm still getting like that broadcasting vibes like somebody broadcasting you mm -hmm. it's really uh i want to say it's really elegant it's really elegant I like that energy because this is the type where it's like um, maybe like let's say you were you're a musician I'm just throwing this out there let's just say you were a musician and you stopped playing the instrument and I feel like this would happen because when you were playing the instrument something happened that totally like took that ambition away from you in some cases, I'm hearing it siphoned the siphoned the ambition from you, and so now you're you're you've been building it back up. That's why the little girl would be in the rodeo area right there, you know where the bull is, because at some point she wasn't a little girl, and then at some other point she shrunk herself down to a little girl. This is talking about inside like the inner confidence and then now you're coming out you know it doesn't mean that you're a girl or a guy or this or that this is more of somebody who had shrunk themselves down because of um an inspired action or non-action that had happened in their life and um now there's a sense of, I can do this. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be really good at it. I like that, because it's like now you're trying. Before, I don't think you could have tried the way you're trying this week because there was some type of fog going or there was some type of negativity in your mind from some kind of experience that took siphoned I'm, I'm hearing it again siphoned i can't even say took because i'm being corrected to say siphoned so this is a rapid um and like a lot that they took out of your ambition mm -hmm. but you have it back now i am at peace <laughs> i am at peace mm-hmm and we have here Divine peace and harmony. <laughs> Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. I told you, it's back in you. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. Yes, we all go through these times. I'm not immune to it, and you're not immune to it. Everybody goes through these times where it's like, someone tests us and we fail and that's awesome that we fail because then we know exactly where we need to correct ourselves where we need to see what kind of self-discipline can we can we start gaining why, why didn't we have it before and what can we do about it now and why did i think like that right when we do these things we learn so much more about ourselves we can gain a sense of appreciation for the fact that we allowed ourselves to look at that and we allowed ourselves, we, like we gave ourselves the space because not so much as everybody else has to give us space, but it's more about ourselves giving our, ourselves mental space to not think and then allow the thinking process to come in gradually. And as we start to understand more about why we make certain decisions, and understand it in a very like a uh, non-judgmental way because then you can really ground um ground yourself in this experience of understanding and you can really take a keen eye like you can have that keen eye perspective of what exactly happened what exactly led you to that sort of action or non-action, right? It's like that. I hear an airplane outside. 
many of you guys are allowing your plans to take off and you're going in a very excited speed and you're no longer holding back I love it and you have a lot of support and you have a lot of peace so much peace in this I could fall asleep with it <laughs> yeah so I feel like saying to you guys this week it's all about this having peace with who you are embrace self acceptance embrace the embrace who you are what you've done to get to where you're at today and have gratitude that you see clearly rather than a judgmental rather than a judgmental um count of where you mess up mm -hmm. don't be so critical but be compassionate as you as you're unlayering different parts of yourself because i feel like it's like um some of some people are in the beginning of this and then other people are like you're almost out of that you know you finally have all of it the different layers up and for the ones that are barely starting it's like you're having a support group that can really help you to peel them back with you and then others of you that are like you're you're now you're um further along and you're ready you're ready it's just that you had time that um a time in your life that shrunk the confidence in yourself but you regain it fast you're gonna regain this fast and I feel like you're gonna regain this fast because it was siphoned from you and when I say siphoned from you it means that like somebody else may have um, been like they may have been like around you you know because sometimes it's like people that are just around you and they'll um they'll project onto you. They don't have to say anything. It's the vibration that happens, right? And then others of you, it may be like, um, it's gonna just be different forms of, um, of attachment. These are negative attachments. When you think of them, it could be people, it could be events, but whenever they come up in your mind, they set you back in this reality. So, try to catch it to know that that happens try to catch it where where does that happen and what triggered it and what can i do to prevent that it's like that this is like really understanding yourself though and don't be so harsh on yourself mm -hmm. so allow yourself to uh be at peace with it i feel like this is all like a spiral effect everybody's going together everybody's going in harmony everyone is feeling a sense of like fulfillment it's really beautiful so this week allow yourself to really embrace peace during this whole process be kind to your mind and be loving to your heart allow your heart to soften and your mind to relax and in that, you're able to receive what is meant for you during this time in your life. <laughs> so enjoy this. Enjoy this whole process. And I am just sending you so much love, so much courage. And yeah, <laughs> have a beautiful week, you guys. Make sure you like um, if you got anything out of it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell for notifications so you get notifi notified whenever I come out with another video and um, leave a comment let me know how this resonates with you I'll see you again in the next one have a fantastic week you guys bye fuego, mi amor por ti es puro fuego.